Welcome back to the Channel Time Pod. It's your host, Ren. I got a video today from Tiki Taki and YouTube Shorts. You know, passport bros. Western women still don't understand the gravity of what's happened with feminism and just where they're at in the global market. Eastern women, South American women understand fully well why there's passport bros and why passport bros want to go to those countries and be respected right japan isn't out of that realm of possibility for passport bros either food over there is actually quite cheaper like i said i was speaking to a japanese woman uh on instagram because uh, you know she she comments on my videos and we chat back and forth just learning about the culture food is so cheap over there as she was telling me that a yoshinoya bowl is three dollars a yoshinoya bowl over here is like 12 bucks and she says that their quality is so much better, which I believe her because the Japanese government is very on it about food quality. So please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Let's get to that chow. It's chow time. I was watching a video yesterday of a woman who rear-ended this guy in a Lamborghini and then got out and started screaming and yelling at him <laughs> that he hit her car. And the guy was laughing. Did you see that video? How did you hit my car? You, you did that to the front of my fucking car. Oh yeah? <laughs> What's funny? This is how you carry yourself, man. You just laugh it off and tell her the truth. Uh, That's my new fucking car. Usually when you rear end people, that's not how this works. <laughs> they show the video from the gas station. The guy's like, what the fuck are you talking? And then she gets mad at him for being white. But she's white. Isn't she white? <laughs> they always want to bring race into it. He's, he's... Kind of white? Yeah. I don't know. She looked white. But I mean, it's like a literal Boom. crazy person. Like maybe Ouch. just trying to make up an excuse for why she was in a car accident. But she clearly takes a turn, slams into this guy's car. The guy pulls over to the gas station. She gets out and knocks on his door. You hit my fucking car and screaming, screaming and yelling at him. And women wonder why men want to leave. There's plenty of reasons. <laughs> what do you like about this place? Me. You? I like this. That's a good damn reason to like this place. Let me tell you that. If you're looking to, to seriously to move out here and you want to purchase a property or rent a property in an upscale area, look no further than the fit, feminine, friendly, and beautiful real estate agents. They I have yet nice. to go looking for a property and find one real estate agent that wasn't attractive. A lot of them are single. Most of them speak good English. And if you can put your money where your mouth is, buy a property, not over haggle on the price, make them laugh, keep the conversation on a business. We're not trying to tell you to guys go buy property to try to get a real estate agent. If you're in the market to buy property and you're in the market to go to these things, this might be a way to go about it. <laughs> like, don't go out there just to buy property or, you know, just try to impress women. Like, don't do that. Stop it business level by the time you sign paperwork this might lead to the results you're looking for Nemo, we made it yeah finally you moved here we got our place uh, happy home <laughs> Nemo, you married uh i'm single oh yeah <laughs> women on this level don't have time for the game that they don't their intention is to do business i think a woman like this on your side you can't go wrong he ain't wrong he ain't wrong me what did you just say you have my slate on my bed only. <laughs> and I am slate on your bed only. I am not slave in your life. You know? <laughs> who who called me slave? Oh. Who? A girl on TikTok. <laughs> me. Yes, this is Eastern women. You know, in the bedroom, you could play the slave and master games, but that's not how it is in real life. That's not how it is in the the daily lives of Eastern Asian women. How old are you? 23. What do you do for work? I'm a nurse. For a man to date you, what job should he stay away from? Nursing. You wouldn't date a male nurse? No. <laughs> is it because you're a nurse or what? They sleep with other nurses. I mean, it's the same occupation. that it works both ways this is why i tell men to be careful with nurses you know especially traveling nurses um nurses is very similar to the, the show gray's anatomy where doctors and stuff are just having sex all over the place and just closets and restrooms and like rest areas and stuff nurses do the same thing 
male and females. It is, but that means they're sleeping with your co-workers. You're not telling me all men are like this, though. They are. What makes you feel that way? I work with them currently. You think dating is going to get easier for you as you age? No. Why not? I don't know. They get worse when we get older. Why? They just do. Who's they? Every man. What do you have against men? You all suck. What do we su What do we suck at though? <laughs> I don't know. We can do it without you. Like who hurt you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Were you about to say a lot of them? <laughs> she was. <laughs> oh, the internet's gonna love you. Oh, women. Well, somebody breaks in the house. It's fifty fifty. Oh, it's your turn to go deal with the invader. Yeah. I am not afraid. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Wait, 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 hold on. That's how masculine these women are. I'm not afraid. I'm gonna. No, you're not. Like, why would you want to? You have a perfectly good man next to you that should be able to do this, but yet, you know, you want to, you know, not, you know, look bad in front of, like, you know, the podcast and saying you can still hold your own and you're strong and independent. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Y'all already just said, hold on. Say, say... You're you're in bed, okay? And a guy and, and somebody breaks into the house, okay? And your man looks over at you and he goes, "Hey, it's over. hey, go get the, go, go get the go get the pieces in the drawer. Go handle it." <laughs> How would you feel if your guy did that? How would you feel? Stupid. Stupid. How would you feel if your guy looked at you and said that? I don't feel like I gotta save our both of our asses right now. Okay. How would you feel? Well, you said you'd do it, so you better say Bro, because I'm going to go ahead and do what I got to do, and so, then I'm going to tell you, yeah, bro, I don't know what's up, but okay. my daddy didn't raise no bitch. Okay. And, then, <laughs> and how would that make you feel if you got a bitch? <laughs> you know what's crazy? That's, that's exactly how men feel when we have to tell women how to be women. Oof. Solid. Earlier this year, I ended a relationship and cut off an engagement from a great, a great man. He was a good man. He loved God. He was a praying man. He loved and adored me. He was there for me. He was handsome. He was well-educated. He didn't have any kids. He checked all the boxes. But there was still something missing. And I just knew that I could not go through with this marriage. There was just something that did not connect. I, I felt that there was some, should have been a connection. With I'm guessing because he's too good of a man and uh, boring. Between he and I in order for me to be his wife and so I cut off the engagement what's missing is your brain he's a good man check <laughs> all the boxes with no drama and no chaos it's obvious that good men are boring to you so early in this Ooh, that was a good one sis Japan is in desperate need of male adult stars. Ken Shimizu, the hardest working man in the industry, tweeted out a cry for help and shared some information <laughs> about the industry numbers. Apparently, this is a really passport bro things, but it might, you know, give you some idea why you might want to go to Japan. Just a little fun snippet in this one. There are 70 male stars to every 10,000 females. To boot, there's an average. That's crazy. There's 4,000 new films being released every month, which is probably why you have 88 year olds coming out of retirement to be stars themselves, like this guy. He actually holds a record for the world's <laughs> oldest adult star. Poor man. Poor old man. But it gets worse, or better, depending on how you want to look at it. The deficit of males in the industry has some males filming 21 movies per week, but they're just unable to keep up as their age catches up with them. Ken here has been in the industry for over 18 years, works 8 to 9 hours a day, and hasn't had a break in the past 7 years. Nope. Japan is in... I only put this in there if you guys are uh, looking to be adult stars and want to be a passport, bro. Japan might be your spot. You know, it gives you a job in the industry in Japan so you can make good money. And like I said earlier, food is pretty cheap over there overall. If you want to live in the royal areas, which, you know, my friend doesn't suggest because it's so far out of everything. And she says people get lost there, too, just going back and forth. But you can get a free house. Just saying. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> Japanese women. What? see they're gorgeous like even in her you know like unmakeup-y state i think she still looks good 
I mean, again, I'm Asian. I really attracted to Asian features, but I, I, I think most bros can agree with me down here.